was about, I'd say, halfway through swapping this crap back. And you know what? I figured we might as well throw the two inch wheel spacers on Baby Squat and see what it's like with the 22 by 12s because it was so sick on here and it looked so freaking good. It was so wide. I've never done that on here. So I'm gonna take the rear ones back off. We're gonna throw the spacers on there. We're gonna rock them for a bit, see how wide this thing is, see if it'll turn, see if we could rock some 14 wides on this thing. I was getting a little burnt out on filming, if I'm being honest. I've just been filming so freaking much, doing working so much the last like five days straight on all this crap. But we ain't gonna let that phase us. We're gonna go ahead and do it. All right, this side, no spacer, right? You know, just a typical 12 wide poke on these new body styles. They don't poke out a ton. It's just a nice, clean, daily driver poke, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, just clean. All right, we come over here, two inch spacers, boy. The more you stick them out, the bigger the tires look. So even though this is like a 32 and a half, it's not a very tall tire. With the big wheel, stick it out far, dude, it looks humongous. And it's gonna look freaking insane once we get them on the front for sure. I mean, that's a wide footprint right there. There's just something about a shorter truck on wides poking out like this. Dude, they treat me so right. But anyways, I'm about to burn up. I'm gonna finish this up. I'll catch up with y'all later today or in the morning. by 12s with the two inch wheel spacers and i'm sure you're curious does this thing turn we'll get that we'll get to that in a moment but this thing looks dumb wide similar to how the trail boss was looking super wide so aggressive we got like half the tire sticking out of the fenders now and uh yeah definitely a sketchy setup running spacers on the front in my opinion i just never really been a real big fan of that on the front but had to do it just for the video before we change the truck up so it is definitely wide and it's crazy you just the tires sticking out a little bit farther make them look so much bigger if you saw the video on the trail boss and how it turned i don't know if y'all already saw that or not but the old 18 with three inch leveling kit did not fare as well so this thing's actually been an absolute nightmare to drive and we'll show you just how little it can turn in just a second but I know there's a lot of y'all out there running some 12 wides wishing you'd got 14s and or thinking if you should and because i guess this would be about the same as running a 14 wide needs to be wide dumb thick <laughs> so it's funny because mead saw the trail boss when it was stock then he came over here and saw it with the spacers and the 22s and was completely blown away because it is just a completely different truck so nasty <laughs> and then yesterday he saw this being an old pig leg on uh, the stock trail boss wheels. And he saw it today and he was like, that thing is wide. I, I definitely wish this was a look that I could rock all the time. But like I said, uh, not very, uh, not very friendly on the drivability part. All right, so we're gonna pull up and just tell me, put back here and tell me what I'm Still got like an inch. All right, you're real close right there. Yeah. Actually, about as much as the trail ball. So right here, obviously, you're gonna get into the body of it now, whereas before it just rubbed right here, and it just kind of wore down. Um, that's just the plastic. But now you're definitely getting it in the body. We're definitely gonna be close over here if we're not already touching it. Yeah. So we're touching over here. So yesterday. I was backing up and I turned it this sharp and it clipped this little thing right here and, and put a bend in it, which I can heat it up and, and peel it out. I did it again when we were out driving around a minute ago. But uh, with this off, as you can see, you might could squeeze by without having to cut the metal part. But, got my little thing right there, I'm crying about that. But as you can see right here, this is how far it rubbed 
before and I just took that bolt out and it, it like self clearance this is a little thinner than it is there but no problem but now it's gonna be literally hitting all the way up here so I mean that's a pretty good bit of turning but it's it's genuinely a nightmare trying to drive this thing so we are <laughs> it's all the way in there when I had the 14 wides the 24 by 14s and those 35s on here it came all the way on the outside of this here with the 24 by 14s and 35s how bad does it rub that's it so obviously it's going to get into the body of the truck right there oh yeah so we're into there all the way to the top and right there at the bumper so there's the spacer it's so weird i was looking at it yesterday it's so weird being able to see my brake caliber back here hanging out <laughs> that's funny but i'll show you all this other side real quick because i'm gonna have to bend it back it made me cry a little bit yesterday when i did this so it hooks on when you're in reverse, it's a lot worse. And it hooked on right here and kind of crumpled that up, which I can heat it up and, and smooth it back out and it'll be fine. It's not like it's falling off or anything. He gonna drive, just get a good little, little look-see. Oh boy. definitely looks freaking sick <laughs> it does look so much bigger let's get some iPhone footage oh yeah looks even fatter with the iPhone because it hits the flat angles oh boy break my neck <laughs> golly it looks freaking good though <laughs> that's about as much as you can turn it he's scared he doesn't want to rub it all right guys well hopefully you did enjoy all those sporadic clips and stuff of the truck like i said and y'all saw you can't turn the thing but it does look cool when i figured it'd make a good video and i think it did it definitely looks super nasty it's one of those things where you probably shouldn't do it because once you see it, you're gonna be kind of depressed because once we go back to the standard 12 wide, it's not gonna look wide at all. So that's the one negative. Don't You don't wanna see it and then have to change it back and it not look as good, but we had to do it for this video, so. One last walk around, 22 by 12s, negative 44, 33s, and a two inch wheel spacer all the way around. This thing's about to go back to stock. Trail Boss, I think one last video with that, then it's gone. So hopefully y'all have been enjoying all of those. I don't know when this will fall into the category of videos. Maybe y'all haven't seen nearly all the videos I've already filmed with it. We'll see. But with that being said, hopefully you enjoy. We will see y'all in the next one.